Today we got a great episode. Today we're gonna learn how to frame a tiny house out of wood. What's up guys? This is Bob with Titan Tiny Homes and today we're gonna talk all about how to frame a tiny house out of wood. Now normally we use a lot of steel in our panelized system, which we think is great, but every once in a while we get an order for wood tiny houses and I thought this was a great opportunity to go through all the different methodology that we use when it comes to building something out of wood. So a few things that I wanna mention before we get started is I wanna kinda of give you the lay of the land. This is a 20 foot Everest model, it's got a low roof, and it's a perfect house to go through all the different things that we do to make sure that our wood tiny houses are just as strong as our steel. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to talk about that's different from having to build with steel is the fact that we install a lot of this extra strapping into the house. Now these are really kind of cool. What you do is you have to you snap a line from here to your end point, your chalk line, and then you'll cut saw kerfs into the face of all the studs the whole way up. And this T-molding then gets pounded into that saw kerf all the way up and then we nail it. Now when you're doing these, you wanna make sure that you angle them towards the front of the house. This way, when the house is going down the road, it doesn't get that bending flex and it counteracts that so that the house stays nice and straight. Another thing that we install are these hurricane straps that go to the plate. Now this gets bolted through the trailer and then it gets a, a vast number of bolts into the actual stud. And we put those throughout the entire house. Now this is gonna allow so that the house doesn't uplift off of the trailer in the case of a hurricane or something like that. Now, when it comes to building your headers above your windows, your doors, and all the things that you're gonna to need to kind of bridge the gap between your studs, you're gonna definitely wanna install a hammer tie. Now this is a very simple piece of material. It's a plate that's got teeth on the back end of it. And you're gonna hammer that in halfway on the stud and halfway on your header. Or in this case, since they're three inches long, we're able to grab the header and the stud. And we wanna place these on both sides, both on the outside and the inside of every side of our header. This is gonna allow so that as the structure is moving, you're not gonna get any play as far as your header and your windows and things like that are gonna to continue to open properly and everything's gonna stay nice and square. Okay, so one of the other things I wanna definitely point out is the fact that we don't put headers above our fenders. And the reason for this is because our fenders are structurally supported. Now, if you're buying a tiny house trailer from say somewhere like from Colorado or some of the other popular tiny house trailer manufacturers that don't structurally uh, reinforce their fenders, you're definitely gonna want to put the same kind of header that you would put above a window. You definitely wanna have this supported by a header because those fenders are not as good as these and it will sag, your house will have problems. But in the case of using a trailer like ours, you don't need a header across here which allows for a lot of flexibility. All this space would be covered with wood right now, but instead we're able to run mechanicals evenly throughout the house. We're able to place outlets down low, and it just gives us a lot more flexibility when it comes to our wall. Okay, I just really wanted to point that out in case somebody saw it in the video and then didn't build a header because they didn't see one in our okay. So now I wanna take you up on the roof. So what you'll see is an entire roof constructed out of two by six material. No two by fours. It's wood, so we gotta make sure that we're really paying attention to our spans on the roof. So what you'll see is this, this roof is actually built in three sections. So we have one here, one here, and one here. This is a very easy way to frame these roofs on the ground. Something to keep in mind when building a tiny house is sometimes you're by yourself, or you got one other guy, and to sit here and lay all the joists out all the way across, takes a lot of time. So one of the things that we do to save time and make things a little easier is we build the roof in three sections and then we put it up here like you see it. <laughs> You'll also probably be wondering what these two by fours are kind of running across here. So by putting the roof on the ground, we can square it up and make sure that our diagonals are correct. 
and then we nail a board across it to lock it in place and now that this is installed these boards will be removed and then it'll be insulated and the sheathing will go on if you have the luxury of building inside I strongly recommend you build this way if you don't have to worry about the elements it's so much easier to do the ceiling first on the inside and then wire and insulate from the top it just makes it a lot easier you can work on, on this much faster and then the insulation isn't falling down or spray foam in this case you could spray foam the whole thing and they just turn out a lot better and it's a lot less stress on you when trying to build something so this is a great way to build the roof of your tiny house. now another thing that you're gonna want to buy are these goofy wingy looking things from the store called hurricane ties now these are going to be placed in each one of the joist spaces along the entire roof on both sides and we recommend that they get fastened instead of with nails use a factory recommended hardware that the manufacturer would suggest this is going to ensure that the roof is solid it locks the entire structure together and in the case of a storm your roof isn't going to fly off hey guys thanks for tuning in today and walking through how to build a tiny house out of wood with me i hope you've enjoyed these tips and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please click the button below and i'll see you on the next video